Okay, y'all. <laughs> Do you want a sight of the most shameful part of our house? These drapes, curtains, whatever, have been closed for a reason for many months. And that is our horrific back porch. If you thought that this was bad last year <laughs> during this time, this year is so much worse. Oh my gosh, there's a full on like giant fire <laughs> going on outside. Josh is actually in the middle of burning a ton of our boxes. I told you guys last year, we have like all this drama in our town for, um, well, recycling and it has just gotten like crazy. And so we don't really have a whole lot of recycling. So if we want to recycle, we can't. And so we basically just burn all of our boxes <laughs> whenever the weather is warm enough. <laughs> this place has gotten out of hand and we are going to not only give it a deep clean, but we are also going to give it a makeover. So let me give you a little tour of our horrible back porch. All right, so Josh is starting in cooking out here. We have recently brought in a few new pieces that I'm gonna show you. I'll show you a little before here of what the place looks like nice. All right, y'all, well here you guys can see our old TV and the size of it compared to what we currently have in there. And also note these mid-century coffee table and end tables that we have in here. We did wind up putting these on Marketplace just because they were a little bit rickety and we were also moving some things around from the other parts of the house. Um, but I just thought I would show this to you before we really go back to the mess. And then I will show you, this is actually the stand that our TV used to be on in our living room. And I brought it in here and usually it has this chair on it. And I was hoping that it would be like a sewing desk, but it's honestly just turned into a craft desk for the girls. Anyway, they have all of their board games in here. Clearly they did not pick up, even though I asked them to pick up twice, but you know what? It just makes for a better before, right? Here's my sewing machine that I was ultimately hoping to get up there. Our Christmas tree, which is still here. But listen, y'all. These windows are in such bad shape. These are things that I can't really fix right now, but you can see here that they bow out from the glass and so much cold air and wind gets into here. So we've been avoiding this place like the plague. Also, our stove broke last year. We couldn't figure out what it was for the longest time, but what it was is that there is a pipe that I guess you can't see it, but it, it runs like over here and birds had built their nests up into that pipe. And so it was not letting out any exhaust. And so for a long time, all of the smoke that was from the fire blew into this room and it was horribly smoke damaged. Now we can't smell any of it. Also our boards that are on their ceiling started falling down this year, which is like super dangerous if you're just like chilling on this couch the likelihood that a board is gonna fall on you is like not good. <laughs> like it's not a good thing. And so we're gonna try to get these all secured up here as well. I have brought all of these pictures from our living room whenever we took down our gallery wall in there. And I'm hoping to get these up on the wall. I told you guys it was looking a little bit sparse in here. I would love to make it a little bit fuller. And we also have a new chair that we're gonna be bringing in. So I'm gonna get this place picked up a little bit and then we can start on getting this chair put together. So it is another day and we are going to work first on getting this new chair from Cheetah Living put together. I had the girls help clean up a little bit in here, but <laughs> it's still pretty much a disaster in this area. So let's go ahead and get this put together and we're gonna move out this chair. All right, everybody. Well, the chair that we wound up choosing is called the Elven Leather Recliner and Ottoman. And the reason why I loved this chair so much is because it reminded me a lot of the Herman Miller Eames like lounge chair, like the, the vintage one from like mid-century design. Um, but man, it's crazy. You go online and to buy them used, I think that they start around like six or seven thousand dollars and they go up to like thirty-five thousand dollars just for one of these 
original chairs, but this one resembles it so much. I got it in the black leather with the brown bottom just because that reminds me so much of the original mid-century chair. And you guys will see that this is the only room in our house that is mid-century. Our whole home used to be mid-century. We had like a really like boho style after we first got married. And so some of my favorite items that I had collected have remained back here, but I thought that this matched our decor back here so nicely. It has strong mid-century lines, similar to the iconic and classic Eames chair. And also, it'll be perfect for my husband to relax in when he plays video games. Not that he does that very often, but when he does, he'll slip away on Saturdays and go out there and stuff. It'll be great for keeping the more like masculine feel that we have in this room. But yeah, these chairs are top-notch quality and affordable. They have an adjustable headrest and a body with a swivel function, so they're super functional and comfortable. They're elegant yet high-end using taut, genuine leather. They've got a double-layered foam back cushion that offers extra comfort. They also have a memory return four-prong metal base for stability. They are a little bit heavy, but it seriously is such a sturdy and great chair. The same metal base is used for their matching ottoman as well. Wait, are you planning on moving this over to the corner or are you gonna keep it here so you can play video games? <laughs> you wanna tell the story about this TV? This TV is a great deal. <laughs> it's so, slightly yeah. larger than our previous TV. Listen, this isn't the story of every marriage. Fairly recently, our other TV started having problems. Josh took it down and put it over here and said he was gonna go out and get a TV. The fool that I was, I thought he was gonna get a TV that was the same size. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually fit our fit. console. It fits perfectly. <laughs> oh my gosh, he brought home this massive TV. I mean, what am I gonna say about it? Anyway, so the new TV is also part of our makeover, if you wanna call it that. <laughs> it's perfect. I think there's actually a button on here for something a lot of time I fall out. Oh! <laughs> okay, y'all, well, today's the day. We're gonna tackle this project. Kitchen's messy, don't care, don't have time to clean it, okay? We gotta head over here to the back porch. It is kind of a weird weather this week. It's been really cold. Like I told you, I've been avoiding this room like the plague because the windows do let in like basically all the air. I've been running this janky old space heater for like a couple hours now and I've been, you know, stalling. Tomorrow it's supposed to be like high of 34 with high winds and so I can't be doing this tomorrow. Today is the only day I have to get this done really and so we're gonna tackle it. I just don't want to. Okay this is ridiculous too. I showed y'all the other day Josh literally burned every box in this house okay. Remember seeing him out here with his little fire cooking his little blackstone whatever. Y'all he was going he worked hard somehow we have so many boxes that have accumulated in like days. I've got like the, the boxes from our Cheetah Living new chair here, which Josh has been loving, but also from like a couple of plants that we received that'll be in next week's video. I don't even know how this happened, but we've got to get this taken care of. I'm telling you guys, this is the hardest room for me to keep clean. It's always so cold back here or it's so hot back here. I don't know what's wrong with me. I am so sensitive to temperatures. If it is uncomfortable in a room, I don't want to work in it. And so right now, I think it's going to be like 60 today, so not too bad. And yeah, I got to take responsibility and do this thing. So got my water with me because... Y'all, this is a little sc scary. I'm not gonna lie. I've been having really painful contractions and we are way too early for this to be happening. So my doctor said that I might be dehydrated. So I'm trying to hydrate. I'm peeing like every five seconds. Let's make this a day. <laughs> Let's go. All right, first things first, we're gonna clear out these boxes. I'm honestly just gonna throw them in the garage and ask Josh to burn them on another day. So let's go ahead and do that, but I can't open the door until I get these ladders out of here from painting Ivy's room. You guys, I don't know how DIYers and stuff make all their stuff look nice. I feel like everything for every project we do is just all over the place. 
Okay, so I am a little bit nervous that y'all are gonna get mad at me for doing all this stuff, but I have to tell you that I am in full nesting mode right now. After I have a baby, the last thing I want to do is come home to a cluttered and chaotic home. I really am trying my best to just try to make this place as well functioning as possible so that when our baby girl arrives that things will just be as smooth as they can be. So that's why I'm putting all this work into this. I'm really trying to be as careful as I can, take breaks, all that kind of stuff. So I don't want to worry anybody. Okay, so I just got all the boxes out. Full disclosure, I did not put them somewhere good. I literally just took them out here and I just called Josh. And I was like, babe, would you mind doing another burn tonight? So he's going to burn those a little bit later before it's supposed to get windy and rainy and everything. Um, and yeah, but it's cleared up so much. So this TV does get a little bit weird because we have like a spring cleanup day where there's like a service that comes and picks up like big items like this. I don't know where to put it until that time, but also it's a little bit too heavy for me to move with my pregnancy right now. And so this might have to stay here until Josh gets home as well. But other than this, it's not too bad. We just got some like donations, random stuff and like tools for projects that I've been using and just a few like summer things that need to be organized and put away. And then I'm gonna need to tackle this area up here, which has gotten so disorganized from last year. I also need to go through coats and ask Josh which ones he wants to keep because he is like, he loves to keep everything. And so, but it's getting so cramped in there, obviously. Okay, so y'all wanna hear something. This mouse, he sits behind my stove and he taunts me day and night, listen. Do you hear that? He doesn't even care that I'm literally right here. He just lives his life every single day. The only way I can get him to stop, and it's so loud, it like distracts me every morning when I'm reading my Bible, is I have to turn the oven on to like literally hot box him out of there. Uh, I don't know what to do about this. He just comes and gets Buddy's food every morning and just has a heyday. So thought I'd update you on our mouse situation. Okay, so let me tell you a struggle that we have with our house. We have like zero climate controlled storage areas. So there's either our garage, which is here, it's detached, right? Or we've got this room, which isn't necessarily supposed to be a storage room, but clearly it has become one. Also not temperature controlled because we've got windows and everything. Like literally it snows inside of this room in the winter time. And then we've got our side porch, which also freezes in the winter time. And then we've got our basement, which also freezes in the winter time. You hear him? I can't people, I can't. Look, I'm trying to film a video and this dude is, he's interfering. And so it stinks because I have a lot of these like supplies, like paints and stains and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be using this polyurethane, maybe. Ah oh, man, I might have to buy another one. Anyway, I'm gonna be using this on a project in this room soon, but I'm hoping that it's okay because I don't know if it froze, like it probably froze, but y'all, I don't know what to do here. We literally don't have any storage areas in our house that can like protect this kind of stuff. So we will see. Okay, so this is another problem that we have in this clear bin is all of our tools or like a lot of them at least that we use for all of our projects and whatnot. And there's just not a convenient place to store them in our house. We have them just like sitting out here. I guess we could put them in our basement, but I also don't really have a place for them in our basement either. We truly just don't have a ton of storage in this house and it is honestly driving me crazy. Okay, so I'm making a honeydew list, but I'm trying to make it as subtle as possible. I literally never do this, but I have so many things that I need help with. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have all those boxes outside and Josh was like, whatever you do, don't leave them out in the rain. If it starts raining. It wasn't supposed to rain until 10 tonight, but then the thunder cracked and I had to like frantically get them into the garage before we got poured on. So I'm glad that we at least got most of that out. Now I'm going to, whew, 
hear that? Um, now I'm gonna work on going through our jackets and trying to pare down which ones we actually really wear, actually really like, and try to get rid of some of these because with five people, it's just a lot. After a lot of Tetris and trial and error, I think I finally figured out the layout of this. We've got drawers here, dog food, back massager, wet vac, real vacuum, little baby vacuum, and the mop. Oh my gosh, I don't know why that took so long, but it totally did. All right, y'all, and I got these shelves taken care of. Okay, full disclosure, last time I did a cleaning video in here, I just did this. <laughs> for this closet because it was such a wreck. I mean, I did do some of it, but not all of it. And I just decided to close it because I ran out of time. But I'm thinking this looks so much better. We've just got like some random bird scene and stuff. A myriad of sunscreens and bug sprays that Josh buys. I swear in the summertime, it's like every time he leaves the house, he buys a new one. Uh, packaging supplies, art supplies, a box full of random extra light bulbs, some contact paper that I should use on our drawers and stuff in our kitchen, and then all of our Cricut supplies and stuff. Up here I've got like dog medicines and stuff, dog leashes, some like information folder, and then teacups for tea parties, and then some silverware that we got from my grandma and stuff. So I actually pared down my coats to just three jackets and one heavy coat and Josh has the rest of these to go through tonight whenever he gets home so I'm just gonna go ahead and hang these up in our nicely organized space and yeah the rest is his okay so got the curtain closed on this guy I thought I would just hang up one of Rosie's little cowgirl hats here and over here, you guys can see that I have that new duck print that I just showed y'all in my recent thrift haul. Um, I have these little deer antlers over here as well. And I was thinking about nailing up this little drawing. Did I ever tell you guys that this is an actual drawing? Like this isn't a print or anything. Um, but putting this one up next to this guy, but it will need a nail, so I gotta do that. Okay, so coming over here, I did bring in these prints that used to be on either side of our bed in our bedroom. And I've seen people do this like on bookshelves and stuff. I feel like it kind of like breaks the rules of design. But at the same time, I actually really love how it looks. I love the big windows in our house, but I was sad that we couldn't get any artwork over on these. And so I did decide to just put these kind of in between here. Um, and then down here, y'all, I don't know what I'm doing here. I've got these. I actually originally brought this in here because I wanted it to be over on our wood burning stove, but I forgot that we have to open it all the time in order to put the wood pellets in. So anyway, finding a spot for this. Also, these all used to be on this credenza, but now there is absolutely no room on this credenza. So they have moved over here. I don't know. I can never really figure out a nice way of organizing them that like looks right. Maybe it's that there's four things and not like five or three. <laughs> so next I'm actually gonna move these chairs back to where they actually belong. I'm gonna get this one out of it and list it our marketplace. I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this little Christmas tree too that I got from the Goodwill bins a few years ago. It's just looking real sad, so I think I'm gonna donate it back. Okay, so I'm moving this crock back over to where it belongs, right next to our wood burning stove. Um, update, the wood burning stove actually stopped working again while we were filming this video. Josh always says, if it's not one thing, it's another that is broken in our house. And unfortunately, I agree. Here I'm bringing over this record player and putting it on our little sewing desk. 
And then I did bring in the old coffee table that we used to have in our living room. I'll show you guys a little peek of it right here. Um, but I feel like this is just working better for this space. It fits a lot better than the one that we used to have. And I'm bringing over some of those kind of awkward decorations and seeing if I can make it work. I think I need to be done for today. Okay, first of all, I need to be better about being upfront about how long projects take. Sometimes I do all of these things and it looks like I get everything done in a day and that's just not realistic. But also, like I said, with my like contractions and stuff that I've been having, I'm trying not to like overexert myself too much. We will pick back up on this. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow with the cold weather coming in or if it'll be maybe the next day or something like that. But yeah, I wanna show you guys that this is real life. I still have stuff all over our chairs and couches. You know, I still got random stuff that needs to be taken down to the basement. Uh, I still have all kinds of stuff that needs to be gone through. I have a list of things for Josh to help me with tonight. So yeah. I'll see y'all tomorrow the next day. Hello. Okay, so it's actually a couple days later. Like by a couple, I mean like three. <laughs> it was so cold. I tried to work in the back porch yesterday and it was like, I could literally see my breath. It was that bad. So I didn't and instead did some other stuff. We've actually had a bunch of like crazy unexpected events happen in the last couple days. Today we have a bunch of kids over for another birthday party. Both of our girls' birthdays are like two weeks apart. And so they're all out in the treehouse, if you can hear them. And oh, never mind, they're riding, sco they're riding scooters right now. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this room and hopefully get it done here in the next couple hours because I'm ready for this project to be done. All right, y'all, and this is our donate pile for coats. I'm so proud of this. It is not easy for us to get rid of stuff and we're doing it and it's gonna be so much better for this closet. Do y'all think that we have an addiction to denim jackets? Don't worry, neither do I. <laughs> anyway, this feels so much better, so much less chaotic, and I'm so happy with all of this. Oh my gosh, y'all, I just found this while I was cleaning up. It's Jesus on the cross, very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so up next is a recent thrift find that I got. Um, I wouldn't say that it was cheap, but I got it from an antique dealer in a small town around here. Honestly, I think he gave it to me for like $30. Not like a total steal, but not bad. Honestly, none of this is really bothering me, but it looks like the top use some love. I don't know what's going on over here, but I just figured that I could give the top at least to a good sand and then put some poly on it to keep this from happening again. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's definitely a lot better. I went over these spots like so many times and I just feel like I cannot get these dark spots out with a sander. So I think I'm just gonna leave them. We're gonna poly over it. Looks like there's still a little bit left. I think there should be enough for this guy. All right, everybody, well, we got the poly on and I'm glad because I feel like it made a difference in the color and now it matches the table a lot better. And now it's all sealed, so we'll bring it inside. Okay, so I have things kind of cleaned up a little bit and I've got the couch cleared off. All I have left to do is put up some of these pictures that I took out of both Ivy's room and in our living room. I'm gonna see if I can find a place for them and if I don't, then I may just need to be letting some of these go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of work 
my way around here. I've got some like command strip hooks things that I'm gonna try out and then if those don't work, then I'm just gonna nail holes in the wall again. Y'all, I have to be honest with you, this video took me five days to record over the course of about a week and a half. These things do not come together in just one day, especially in our house. There are always a million interruptions and like any other mom, I am just trying to handle these things in whatever free time I have. The week that we did this was actually really chaotic. We had like a big music production thing for our girl's school. Um, there was also a visit to the ER this week, which was really crazy and kind of scary. There were some like complications with some work stuff. It's also Easter week this week. So Josh was like over his head with stuff that he needed to do for the church. And it was just craziness. We also had the birthday play date as well as trying to do fun stuff with Ruby for her birthday this week. And y'all, it took me a minute to get this done, but I am so happy that this room finally looks like a room again. You guys cannot imagine the stress that I have looking back here and seeing what it looked like before. Thankfully, I was able to find a spot for almost all of my pictures that I took down off of the other walls. You guys can see here, I think that this arrangement looks so much fuller and nicer and more like what I had originally intended. But yeah, I'm just getting things put together, like all of the finishing touches as well as cleaning. This room gets really dirty back here just because it is so messy and so it doesn't receive the weekly or even monthly cleanings that it probably needs. So I figured I would give everything a really good wipe down and just try to make it smell fresh, feel fresh for when we open up these windows in the springtime. You guys can see that I added a few plants here as well. I don't know if these are going to remain here just because this room does freeze and we can't keep them here permanently, but I was just testing some out to see how these looked because I love the look of plants. I'm gonna keep my eye out for maybe a faux plant to bring in here in the future, especially in that big corner area. So I'll be looking and seeing if I can either thrift that or maybe I'll have to buy a new, who knows. <laughs> Y'all, I do love this whole room. It reminds me so much of just the style that we had for so long when we first got married and everything. I will say, Josh did not get to the boards. We're gonna be borrowing some equipment from my neighbor and we just didn't get it done in time for the reveal of this video. So I have the boards hidden right here. I am so excited to reveal this to you. It feels so nice to have this all completely cleaned up. This gallery wall feels so much more full now and way more like I originally intended this room to look. So before we get to the after footage, I just want to say if you guys are not already, please consider subscribing and let me know if this encouraged y'all to clean up any area of your house as well. So let's roll that before and after footage.